Some took the form of three-dimensional membranes, like our own universe. Others were merely sheets of energy. Then there were cylindrical and even looped membranes. Within no time at all, the 11th dimension seemed to be jam-packed full of membranes. We began to ask ourselves the question, who lives in the 11th dimension? We have intersecting membranes. We have membranes with holes in them. We have membranes that look like donuts or have many different kinds of donut holes. We're just littered with different kinds of membranes. This 11th dimension not only had the membrane, which was the bubble-like or sheet-like object, but it had a whole wealth of different brains of varying dimensions, unfortunately called P-brains. Each of these membranes was a possible other universe. M-theory had unwittingly made the idea of parallel universes respectable again. In another universe, the proton may be unstable, in which case atoms would dissolve and DNA cannot form, and therefore there's no intelligent life in these universes. Perhaps it's a universe of electrons and electricity, perhaps a universe of lightning bolts and neutrinos, but no stable matter. The other universes are parallel to ours and may be quite close to ours, but of which we'd never be aware. They may be completely different with completely different laws of nature operating. They may not all have life, uh, but some fraction of them will have life. And whatever that fraction is, if there's an infinite number of these universes, uh, there'll be an infinite number of universes uh, that have living civilizations. Some of these universes may look just like ours, except perhaps you're not there. 